Yo, what up everybody? Cardboard Moses with your welcome. Time to do another eBay break. Uh, we're going to be doing, I know it's 2018 Donruss Baseball, but I'm waiting for my sheet to load up here because I'm not exactly sure what number it is. So that would be nice if it could load up. But it's not loading. I want to say it's number nine, four box break number nine, eBay style. But seeing as how my computer, or at least Chrome right now, is just freaking out. Oh, no. I can see it is number nine. All right. Donruss Baseball. Four box break number nine. eBay style. Come on. Come on down. Uh, well, Ryan, I have a break that I'm going to do now. This Donruss Baseball break is going to take me roughly 20 minutes, which means I have another break to do at 11, which is Contenders Optic Football. That break doesn't take long. So I want to say in about 40 minutes, Ryan, I'll be done with all my breaks. So roughly around 1130, I'll be able to get to you, Ryan. You know, a good whore has a nice lineup, you know. I I'll get to you, baby. I'll get to you. I'll treat you good. I'll treat you good. All right. You know what to do, Abraham. Good luck, everybody. You know what? Firehouse subs is, is, is great. Don't get me wrong. I fucking, I used to eat that shit breakfast, lunch, and dinner back in college. Uh, but yo, you have not had a sub or a hoagie or whatever until you've had it from Publix. Oh my God, so fire. I, I wish Publix was open 24-7 just so I could get a pub sub at like 3 in the morning. I feel like switching it up. So instead of getting the top four boxes, I'm going to get four boxes from one side and go from there. That's three. This is four. Let me put this away. And while I'm at it, grab the other case that's coming up, which is Contenders. Well, this is Tribute. That's later tonight. Boom. Put this to the side. I wished everybody luck already. And uh, let us proceed. Got that Facebook group popping. Jordan, you don't have to do nothing like that, bro. What'd you do? Send me a dollar? <laughs> I had somebody do that one time. They sent me a dollar. Let me check the store. Hopefully we can get that uh that tribute number three filled up. Or we could leave it for CBJ. You know, Cardboard Jesus will be breaking tomorrow and Saturday. I'll be back on Sunday.
Ryan, I see you picked up a Heritage personal box, man. I will uh, send that your way. Jordan, you did not have to do that at all, bro. You did not have to do that at all. So, Jordan, I need I need to ask you a question. Uh, is there a team in... Is there, like, any breaks in the store that you're interested in? Somebody picked up the Red Sox real quick, like, already at number three. So, Jordan, let me know which... Nah, hell no, nah, Jordan. Let me know what team you want in tribute number three, and, and I'll knock off 20 bucks for you, bro. I pre I appreciate you, Jordan, but you know for for the accounting side of things, that's gonna look that's gonna look shady. You know what I mean? So let me know what team you want, Jordan Miller, in tribute number three or whatever whatever, and I'll, I'll knock twenty off for you, man. Sounds good, Jordan. Sounds good. I'll take care of you, bro. I'll do something for you, man. This shall not be forgotten. I got I got you stored in my heart. I got you stored in my heart. Jordan Miller! Alright, let's uh, see what we got here. If you're in this break, good luck to you. If you're not in this break, uh, good luck staying awake. Marcelo Zuna to 349 Cardinals. It's going to be a long year for the Marlins. Got a random that between the Twins and the Orioles. Starting off for the Orioles, Chance Cisco. That thong, the thong, thong, thong. I like the way the booty goat did it, did it. No? Do you guys remember that song at all? That thong, the thong, thong, thong. What else? Both of those are Rockies. Yes, sir. We have for the 20 Twin Twins, Tyler Duffy. Patch auto right there. That'll be 100. Alrighty. <coughs> Seriously need to clean this office. <coughs> and in case you're wondering, yes, I am coughing all over your cards. No, I'm not. Come on now. Colin Rea, Cardinals, Patch. Joey Gallo to 999. Rangers. Mookie Betts of the Red Sox to 99. What do we got? Come on with the heat. The Indians to 290. Jose Ramirez. We have Corey Seager, Dodgers patch. To 249, Nolan Arenado, Rockies. I, I, I have been breaking some pretty nice stuff. So let's see if we can get that tribute number three filled up tonight. Spectra also needs some loving. Let's destroy that thing tonight. Ryan Healy to 475, A's. Or 
cards here. Marcelo Zuna to 189 Cardinals. The American Pride, which we need to random. Jeremy Earman to 999. Jordan knows the number one rule. Always tip your bartender. Always. Got to random that. All right, first box there. Let me take a sip of this. Wow, wow. All right. I'm trying to trying to catch up here. Got contenders optic after this, and then after that. I'm going to go ahead and rip that personal box for you, Ryan. Hopefully you're still in here. Although I did give you a time. I said like 11.30. Which sounds about right. If I could stay focused and, you know, not be distracted kind of like I am right now. All right. A, t <laughs> a tip jar on the website? That would be hilarious if I did that. I just want to make sure you're still in here, Ryan. Let me respond to this message. Sent. All right, cool. Got to stay on top of those eBay messages, man. Because that stuff can pile up and become a problem. What it do, William? Ripping some Donruss baseball right now. Oh, uh, well, Ra Ra, we, there was like a, uh, there was a troll in here that was entertaining Pappy. I don't know if you caught that. Did you cut, did you catch that? That was kind of funny. That guy, some guy ended up making like three different uh, accounts. And when, when he'd ban one, another one would go like, uh, it was. You took a break from, from the breaks. Nice. Did you take a nap, Ra Ra? Is that really what happened? You you took a nap?
on the phone calling up that lady of the night. No need to be shy, Ra Ra. It's okay. It's okay. If I had the monies, I'd straight pay for it too. It would, quite frankly, just eliminate a lot of the BS. All right. What do we got here? Second box right here. Got a random match. Oh damn, bro! I thought we had you all to your. I uh, thought we had you all to ourselves, man. Well, it's nice to see you have people that care about you, or at least pretend to, Ra Ra. Did they check on you and then and then asked you for like a dollar or something? I got those kind of family members. I think we all have like a few of those family members. Brian Johnson of the Red Sox patch. Mookie Betts to 149. Red Sox. Marcel Ozuna to 312. Cardinals. We have Harmon Kilbrew to 500. Twins. I pretend that I'm poor to those people. <laughs> That's kind of hard for me to do. Living in good old US of A. When the rest of my family is uh, not doing uh, the greatest. You know, we help where we can, but I mean, god damn. Well, they they kind of uh, didn't cut the card all the way there, as you can see. Juan Gonzalez with the patch for the Rangers. Marcelo Zuna to 999. Cardinals to 306. Mike Trout, Angels. Got a random that. What it do, Jeremy? So you your brother's a millionaire, Ra Ra? Well, thank you for giving me that little tidbit of knowledge. Ask your brother what's it going to take for him to give me like $50,000 so I can get rid of all my student loan debt. I give a pretty mean handy. Ra Ra. Victor Caratini. Says Chicago. I can only assume it's the Cubs based on those colors. Uh, but I would have to verify using the checklist. But I'm pretty confident that's a Cub. Uh, 4AU, I don't think so. I don't think so. Which means they're probably due for the third case. We have Cody Bellinger to 500. Dodgers. You know, like I said, I'll do something strange for a little bit of change, man. J.A. Happ of the Blue Jays to 49. An American Pride Gold, number 299, Caden Grenier. Got a random that. So you got a random this too? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mike Trout to 999. Angels. For the Phillies, Nick Williams, the auto. That's the way to keep it, Rara. -Ra. That's the way to keep it. All right, that's it for the second box. Well, Ra Ra, now that I know your brother's a millionaire, I'm going to be sucking up like you ain't seen, boy. 
I'm kidding, no, I'm not. What's up, James? Good day, mate. My man from down under. What's up, man? How's it hanging down low? Or I should say down under. How's it how's it hanging down under? I'm doing a little Donruss baseball right now for eBay. to the left oh that's that lets me know that you're in good health man thank you glad to hear glad to hear james for shits and giggles what time is it over in australia right now because it's a, it's roughly 11 p.m over here on the east coast of the good old us of a It's 1 p.m.? Holy fuck. I can't even... It's it's already Friday where you're at? Oh, damn. So wait, so what time difference is that? So I have midnight, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1. What? That's a 14-hour a difference? So what do you got planned for the weekend, James? Of course I watched the movie Step Brothers. Rah, rah, come on now. Come on, man. That's like Stoner 101 right there. Got a barbecue with friends. Nice. Oh, your brother's... <laughs> Are you serious, Rara? So he's a dick. He's a dick, basically. He's a he's a dick that never that that gives awkward hugs at the end of the movie. Oh shit! You guys do archery out there, badass. I always wanted to learn how to how to, how to shoot a bow and arrow. Guns are overrated. Anybody could pull a trigger, but not many could. Uh, do the good old bow and arrow. All right, box three. Mookie Betts to 101. Red Sox. All right, James, let me hit you with this. What is a good Australian beer? What is a good Australian beer? The 361, Marcus Stroman, Blue Jays. You shot 15 arrows in one minute? I can't even do that math right now. What is that? That's one arrow every four seconds or something like that? I could be wrong. No, I don't think I'm wrong. I think that's right. One arrow every four seconds? That, that is, that's impressive. I like to think that's impressive. For the Phillies, J.P. Crawford, the auto. Not Foster's. I mean, I kind of figured that one. That's why I asked you. I don't want to disrespect the entire nation of Australia saying something foolish like that. You hit 13 out of 15 targets. That's not bad. Now, percentages. Oof, I'm a little... Oof. I can't even I can't even process that right now, but I want to say that's above eighty percent. I want to say that's like what eighty nine percent. I don't know. Uh, Casey Mice, the three forty nine American Broad. Got a random that. Uh, 
So what is the best Australian beer in your opinion? To 249, Joey Votto, Reds. Uh, what the fuck? Oh, I got stuck. Okay. Got to run him this to 199. Got the Marlins and the Reds on that. That shall be randomed. Got the Otani, but would have been nicer with some ink on it. To 349 for the Angels. That's still worth uh that's still worth some moolah right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and top load it. Well, it's a good thing I like pale ales. So that that pale ales. That's a mouthful. So that's probably right down my alley that right you know what I mean? I'm gonna have to try that one. I haven't gone through this tech. Did I go through this? Alright. Got Max Scherzer to 99 Nationals. 20. Mm, I don't know what the what the what the difference would be from American dollars to well. What do you guys use as currency down under, James? Twins Orioles. My boy Ryan asked to join the Facebook group. You is approved, dog. Come on now. James Squire, 150 lashes. That sounds painful. David Dahl, Rockies with the pinstripe patch. Got that door, got that door too. For the Rockies, Herman Marquez. So an Australian dollar would be about 80 cents U.S. dollars? What do we have here? For the Cubs, Victor Caratini. Convict country. <laughs> Why is that? Odubel Herrera to 344. Phillies. To 99 Aces in Atlanta. That goes to the Braves. Got a random this. Got three teams on there. What did I say, Ryan? 11.30? Well, that's about right. An English convict settlement. I did not know that. We're learning something new er day. Well, I didn't fail world history. I just didn't give a fuck. There's a di I didn't, and I didn't, and I didn't fail world history. I didn't fail world history. I didn't have to take it. Like in, in high school, after civics, well, not even civics, I learned in middle school. That was seventh grade. I took world history in like the eighth grade. I don't think I took a single social studies class in. Hey, Mario! Yeah. You remember taking a social studies class in high school? I didn't hear she said, but I remember what? Taking a social studies class in high school? Exactly. See, we don't teach social studies down here in the good old U.S. of A. America, baby, we're free. That's all the history for me. 
But legit, I don't remember taking a social studies class. Well, no, I lied. I took economics. World, yeah, world history. Yeah, that's what I took. Yep, and then it was like economics for the other half of the year, right? Yeah, so so in America, or at least me and Mario, the good old American education over at South Ridge, the Ridge, our freshman year, we took world history, and then senior year, so that means my sophomore and junior year, I didn't take a single social studies class. My senior year, I took world government or something like that for half the year. And then the other half, we took economics. Suffice it to say, I didn't, I didn't give a damn in those classes. Yo. Did you, you don't, wait, what? Yes. Right. Yeah, I know, but I just, I lump all those, like, government and, like, geographical classes as social studies. Yeah, I didn't take any of that shit. Well, rah-rah, I think knowing when the Declaration of Independence was signed, I don't think, I, I can't, I, when's the last time you went to a job interview and they ask you, hey... Do you know when the, the when the Declaration of Independence was signed? No? Get the fuck out of my office. When's the last time you went to a job interview and they asked you, Hey, did you know why the Boston Tea Party happened? No? Get the fuck out of my office. When's the last time you went to a job interview and they asked you, Hey, did you know that Australia was a was a was a was an English convict settlement back in the day? No. Get the fuck out of my office. I want to say it was signed July 4th, 1776, the Declaration of Independence. But again, what the fuck do I know? I got Google now, baby. Timothy Donovan, Contenders Optic is right after this, bro. So in roughly 10 minutes. You see, Ra Ra? I don't need to know. That's, that's information that I don't need to know. Google knows that for me. A database got that information for me. Hey Siri. When was the Declaration of Independence signed? The answer is August 2nd, 1776. Boom. Technology tells me my answers. 2018, baby. Well, I was clo I got the year right at least 1776. So it's August 2nd, 1776, according to Siri, when the Declaration of Independence was signed. So then why do we celebrate July 4th? Is that when we actually got our independence? History's confusing, y'all. Whoa! Got a super fat-ass card right there. What is that? I don't know. I'm going to check that out. Another super fat ass one? No, it's just a box that was. I should say a dummy card. Uh, almost done. But I want to see what this fat ass card's about. Is it the, it's the San Diego chicken? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, damn. What the hell? That is kind of fucking hilarious. That's the guy's name. I can't, I can't. First name Ted, last name Guacamole? I know it doesn't say Guacamole, it's just a lot funnier. Ted Guacamole. Numbered 62 out of 84. That's a that's a game worn patch right there. Ooh, that feels nice. Mm. 
That goes to the to the San Diego Padres. That's kind of hilarious. <coughs> <coughs> can I even put this in a in a top loader? Yeah, I can. Just barely. There you go. Padres with the case hit right there. I ain't never seen nothing like that before. All right, let's see what else we can get. Jose Abreu, one of two. Damn. Nice. Rara, did you know that information off the top of your head, or did you use, like, Wikipedia or something? To 999, Braden Shoemake, the American Pride. Yes, what? Yes, I knew it off the top of my head, or yes, I Googled it. I know my American history. <laughs> You'd hire me, right? There you go, Ryan. You know, I just, you know, Bill Gates had a really good quote back in the day. Uh, Bill Gates said, if he could hire a really smart person or a lazy person, who would he hire? Bill Gates said that he would hire the lazy person over the smart person because the lazy person is going to find a really easy way to do a difficult job. I'm the lazy person. And I appreciate that, Ryan. I, yo, I would, I would run through a wall for you, Ryan. I would run through a wall if that's in my in my job description. <coughs> Seriously, though, they need to clean this office. So much dust everywhere. <coughs> Lord of mercy. I also watch a lot of documentaries, but not like on American history. Lately, I was watching like, uh, there's this actually really, well, in that case, Rara, they get fired. Bill Gates don't play that shit. To 99, Buster Posey Giants. Uh, but anyway, I, I, I was watching this documentary on uh, Bellinger, short print there, Dodgers, a blank back. Well, rah rah, Bill Gates is one of the richest men in the world, so what the fuck do you know? Cardinals, or whatever there. Anyways, I, I've been watching like World War II documentaries. There's this documentary on Netflix, it's like World War II in color, which is kind of crazy to see that shit in color. Because to see it in black and white, it kind of, it doesn't... It doesn't seem real to me. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Heimer Candelario, Tigers patch. What's the name of the documentary, Ra? Because there's one like on Netflix, I think. I think it's the number thirteen or something like that. I don't know. Buster Posey to ninety nine Giants. To 319, the Nationals, Bryce Harper. Whoa! I, you know what, Ra Ra? I think I may have seen a clip of that on the on the internets. I think the Boondocks made fun of that that interview. For the Dodgers, Trace Thompson, the patch auto. Some dude wanted his salad tossed. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's As long as I stay out of jail, my life is a success. That's, that's my, you know, I have low, low expectations. That way I don't get disappointed. My boy back in high school taught me that. Uh... So yeah, as long as I stay out of jail, my life was somewhat of a success. Alright, what else we got? We have Jose Abreu. 
Pinstripe patch to 99 for the White Sox. Ew, rah, rah, ah! Now I can't get that image out of my mind. Oh, Mike Trout to 999. Angels. My question is, how do you get jelly or syrup in jail? They serve pancakes in jail? What the fuck? To 318 Kirby Puckett Twins. They, they eating better than me, yo. And that's it for the break. Let us put this away. All right. Before I recap, I do have a quick random to uh, to get gone. I'm not clicking on that link, Rob. I'll tell you that right now. But but curiosity always gets the best of me. All right. Before I do that. If I get an odd number, it's going to go to the top team. If I get an even number, it goes to the bottom team. Here we go. Jeez. Even number seven. So it's going to go to the top team. So this one goes to Red Sox, Cardinals, Twins, Marlins. So the one that's to 199 goes to the Marlins. Red Sox, Marlins, Cardinals, uh, Mariners, and Twins. Oh, that ain't no thing, Ryan. That ain't no thing. Uh, I have my ways, and my ways would be to just quit, because if I got a good-ass job, pfft, what's the point? I got liquor for that. Anyway, so two teams goes to the top team, uh, this one that has three teams, has to go to somebody. So I'm going to roll the die for that. If I get the number one or two, it goes to the Astros. If I get the number three or four, Cardinals. Five or six, Indians. The number four. So it goes to the Cardinals. I had to think about that for a second. All right, so Cardinals. And last but certainly not least, what's the job entail anyway, Ryan? I don't know. I probably did ask you, but I'd be forgetting. You know, drugs. But, uh, yeah, what, what do you do, Ryan? Or better yet, what would you have me do? And, you know, don't don't be nasty. Or, if you pay me enough, I'll do something. Anyway, Braden Shoemake, Casey Mize, Caden Grenier, Jeremy Earman. These need to be randomed to someone. I rolled the number seven earlier, so that's how many times we're going to go in the randomizer. Let me pull up my teams and whatnot so I can go ahead and do that random. So there's the random on the screen. Let me do the good old copy paste. Got all the teams here. Going seven times. Top team wins the American Pride Cards. And the money shot seven. Boom, seven times. The Astros are going to be receiving the American Pride cards. Boom. Sauce. Take this down because now it's time for our recap. Recapping only the hits, which are the autos, because that's all we care about. So here we go. Trace Thompson, Dodgers. Tw uh, Ted Guacamole, the San Diego Chicken. To 84. That goes to the Padres. Uh, Victor Caratini, Cubs. J.P. Crawford, Phillies. Nick Williams, Phillies. Victor Caratini, Cubs. Uh, Tyler Duffy, Twins. And Chancisco, Orioles. And that, my friends, was the break. This was 2018 Donruss Baseball 4-Box Break number 9, eBay style. Thank you very much. We'll get that out to you.